<laughs> Dude, I opened <laughs> I opened up the page and all I see is Junior just going at yeah, man. What is going on everybody? King Recon here. Go Tama chapter 695, man. After this, if I'm not mistaken, we'll have three chapters left in the series, man. And uh I'm just I don't want to miss any any more chapters, man. You know, like I I want to be a part of the weekly experience up until the end. And um It's it's tough, man. You know, it's tough. I unfortunately was not able to watch any of the anime episodes uh so far th this week. Like I'm um I'm still on 357 if I'm not mistaken which I still can't wait to watch, and I can't wait to watch 358. Uh, people have been telling me, I remember Ochiha Shadow was telling me that 360 was phenomenal. So I can't wait to see what that has in store for me. But um, yeah, we'll see what the Silver Solar Awesome Sauce has has in store in the in the anime. I'm, I, I look forward to seeing how they cover and do a couple of those portions. Um, from what I heard, I heard that the two-year time skip is going to be animated in... Um, if I'm not mistaken, then not this upcoming episode, but the, the episode after. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that episode is going to cover that. So I really want to be caught up to the anime before that happens because that chapter is one of my favorite chapters in the series. No question. No question. Just seeing adult Shinpachi, my boy, bro, Shinpachi, and in a. And such a um, in 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 a, in a like he is now in Gintoki's role, and we got to see him even go back to the same place they did in chapter one. I mean, it was it was ugh, I love that chapter so much. But regardless, let's get right into six ninety five of the awesome sauce man, and let's see what Sirachi has in store for us leading up into the final chapter of the series. So we see Junior going absolutely ham right here, man. Maybe he's tossing Kondo, going into like swimmer with him, bro. Ooh -ho, ooh -ho, ooh -ho, ooh -ho. Hurry, well, well, we, well, he, well, he's got them occupied. Oh, oh, get the ship to the earth. I mustn't, princess. Something strange is happening on earth right now. It's too dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need status in my hometown. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to live down there on my on earth with my family. And then they just send Kondo crashing into the motherboard. What the heck was that? Oh, it's this crap again. Okay, there we go. I, I need to keep remembering because I'm, I'm reading on a different site. So I need to keep remembering that I need to hit down here in order to turn the page. Emergency sold separately mode activated. The ship is now switching to sold separately mode. This block has undergone severe damage. In order to prevent the damage from spreading to the other blocks, the ship will now split apart and this block, block two, will be discarded. Ooh, ho, ho. Kondo, you bastard, what did you do? Uh-huh. What? Did something happen? <laughs> if we don't do something that block that, that we're in right now, it, it, it won't even accept steering instructions. It's no good. Hurry, take over. It's like a flipping Saint Say, I think. And then you, then you get to look over here and you get to see the bananas from <laughs> like a little uh, lower-esque uh, shot uh, seeing the four bananas. And you get to see, look at this, man. I mean, just straight up it's raining down, dog. A sudden assault out of nowhere. <laughs> Four chapters left until the final chapter. Incoming fire, uh, in incoming fire from above. This is set up a barrier prepared to counter fire. What is this? The Katama official app is not available. Check out the manga novels and anime with the coin system details on page 401. The attack from the anti-air weapons from earlier forced the Kuyo to abandon special camouflage and focus their defenses on attacks from below. But the true goal of this trap was, and here we go, so if we can approach from above, those are yo. You guys hold enough, okay? Must be lonely down there without me around. But your troubles are now over. That's that's gotta be my boy Saka Goto, bro. You already know it's Saka Goto. Look at him. He has he has he's getting a little rough right here, dog. I respect the look. I respect the look. It's right there with Mutsu. Saka Goto Tatsuma man going in like so I had a feeling with this all the ships. Sakamoto, what? What are you doing there? No way, Sh Shijaku? You? My apologies, Katsura. I know encouraging countries that hold the grudge against the, re the religion to sink the Kuyo was your plan. But not only did, did no country show any signs of acting, but as you can see, I got caught by these odd people. If you're going to ask for help before asking other countries or anything of, the, of that sort. You say, hey, we're friends, right? So lend me some money, won't you? 
<laughs> Shoot every last bullet you got at that ship. No need to worry about the costs here. We'll pay the bill now no matter how much you rack up. My friend here will pay us back. There you go, just saying whatever you please. But if this cleans up the monsters uh, leftover from that war, then I'll lend you any amount of money, my Earth friend. So there you have it, idiot trio. I can't let you idiot trio, bro. The idiot trio. Show your disciples. I can't let you guys do something so interesting all by yourselves. I can't let you fight all by yourselves. Only a master's disciple can wipe his booty for him. In that case, then the only one that can wipe the booties of some friends is another friend like me. Yo, man. I'm not sure if that's a factual statement, but if it's Gintama, it's a factual statement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? That's why you shoot them down. Reduce every last one of them meddlesome flies to ashes. Second one of that huge thing is, is covering the whole the whole ship in a barrier. No matter how many pea shooters you fire at it, it won't take it down. Cease fire! It's around the enemy mothership to cut off its own movement. What is this? What are they doing now? Hey, look over there. Ten minutes earlier. Oh my, here we go. Yeah, this is bound to be something trollish, dog. Hurry, we've got to get to Earth on the double. The fate of Edo's in our hands. Captain, there's a distress beacon. Distress? Oh, there's a communication. Oh, thank goodness, I got through. I was sorry, please save us. This is Kyrene Maru, who are you? Another gorilla? Ooh, oh, oh. That, that's that's Kondo. These guys are insane, bro. <laughs> he started going, oh, 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 oh. all of a sudden, he's trying to tell us something. His language, his language is too primitive. Even the automatic translation functions won't work. Use a translation function for lower life forms. Ooh, oh, oh. Please help us the for lower life forms. <laughs> for lower life forms, bro. The ship we're on is broken, and, and at this rate, it's going gonna, it's gonna to crash land on Earth. My ship is broken, and it's in the process of crashing to Earth, but I've still got an ace up my sleeve. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Isn't there any way you can save us from the ship? I'm going to find a way to ram the ship into my enemy and sink them. I totally understand how big a favor this is to be asking, but please, is there any way you could safely land us on Earth? I totally understand that we have the same enemy. Let me use this life of mine as a way to protect the Earth. Madness, that banana ship? Did you not notice it while you were chasing flies around? I guess you guys are so well known that you've got enemies all over the universe. Whoa! No, I need I said I need you to save me. Take this! Final Gorilla! Crash! <laughs> And it goes right into the thing, lands in there, it's on fire, condo shook, explosion. Good God almighty, man. My boy condo's alright, bro. There, there, there's no way that he got smoked. He did it. He actually went and did it. <laughs> Junior! Junior thinks my boy pulls him out like he's a bean sprout. I mean, <laughs> oh, daddy, daddy, daddy. And he's just, he's smoking him around, man. No, man, it's not your daddy, Junior. He protected our family. After that, we give him a great deal. He's a gorilla among gorillas. The king of gorillas. Yo, Kondo, the king of gorillas, bro. I can't believe this guy. Even after we got you roped into this and did all we did, you still really got us to earth. Such an idiot. I don't know how to apologize or how to thank you. But I feel proud as a fellow gorilla knowing there's gorillas like you out there. Yeah, you sure are an idiot. That man didn't come here just so you could praise him. Back then, your comrades came to take us, to take you back from us, man. The memories, bro. Look at look at the old Sirachi art style, man. But this time, it's time for you to take something back, isn't it? Those people from those days. So I'm returning it. He's got the sheets in Ruby Uniform. <laughs> Yo, man, the moment Kondo puts that on, it's insta-clout. Insta-clout. The you from those days. Your path is clear. Leave the skies to us. You take care of things here, of, of things there, three idiots. Tatsuma, you, two years ago, more than to save the world, what I was risking my life in battle for was to take those days back again. Man, dude. That's all, that's all everybody was doing, bro. And it's incredible because... The Gintama series leading up to that point, where we had non-stop serious arc after serious arc after serious arc after serious arc, after serious arc um, you know, the characters are really trying to get back to the days as as well. You know, the days at the beginning of the series where there was all the trollish moments, the one-shots, the comedy arcs, the emotional arcs. It was trying to get back to those times before all before everything started going down with Utsuro, man. 
and it, it really does feel like the characters themselves. It felt like Sirachi himself wrote it that way because he realized that us as fans too, we also miss those days. Um, as much as we love the serious stuff, we also miss the, the, the comedic one shots and the awesome comedic arcs and the emotional arcs. Um, whenever they would be like, when Sirachi would come on every single week and give us something different and the following like three weeks he would give us like an awesome little like a gender event arc or an h1z1 or a conqueror boyfriend or something like that right and then directly after that he gives us like the shinigami arc and that's one thing i love so much about gintama is the way that it was able to be unpredictable in it the way that it told its story chapter by chapter you know or episode by episode like you never know what you were getting in the next episode man and and uh I really do, it, it, whenever Sakamoto says something like that, it's like it's not only the characters within the show, but Sirachi himself realizes that we as fans also miss that. Like, we we also miss those days, man. That's what we have been reading to to, to, to get to, man, in order, so, in order so that our characters came back to those trollish moments and those moments that, that, that we know them for. You know, like, for me... Uh, it, Gintama can't end unless the final chapter is, is 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 a comedic chapter because Gintama having a comedic slash emotional final chapter is Gintama to me. That is Gintama to me, man. Like uh, having the final chapter be a parody of like Dragon Ball or something, but having it still be emotional. That's just one thing that only Gintama can do, man. And uh, yeah, man, definitely. So I, I, I can I can. Sakamoto's, like I said, Sirachi, he, he, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing, man. Whenever, whenever he was writing all of those arcs and whenever he wrote, you know, why does these characters did what they were doing to protect what they had before, you know, all of those chapters and all of those episodes, man, it just really allows you to look, go back, take a step back and say, man, man, it's like, cause not only, not only is Sakamoto reminiscing and saying, man, I wish, you know, I, I, I wanted to take those days back again, but it's also us too. As fans, bro. But even after the war ended, those days didn't come back to Edo. That's enough reason for me to fight. If you say your battle still ain't over, if you guys say you, you still can't go back yet, then my battle ain't over either. Look at look at them. Look at this and Gooby. Come on, come on. Kondo, wear the suit. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look at go. Oh, oh, my knee. My knee, bro. Yo, I damaged my knee really bad earlier today. But yo, Kondo in the suit, bro. Why, why? Oh my god, no, the ground, man. So, yeah, I'm not sure where either of us should start from, really. Over times like this, was a pretty convenient phrase I learned. Ooh ho! <laughs> the classic gorilla phrase! Ooh ho! Ooh ho! The king of gorillas is back and they raise him up on his arms, man. What a beautiful way to end that chapter, dog. So now you have the Shins and Gumis officially back together. I need my Yorozuya reunion, man. I need my Yorozuya reunion, bro. I'm telling you, man. That's gonna be one of the most emotional moments in the series, bro. <sighs> Kintama's almost over, man. You see, when you see that line by Sakamoto, bro, it's so tr true, though, man. Like, they were all fighting that war to bring us back to those times, man. You know, times that a lot of us took for granted, bro. Like, especially those individuals that um, that only wanted, like, serious arc, serious arc, serious arc, serious arcs. And I think after getting, you know, the likes of Shogun, and then Farewell, and then Rakuyo, and then Silver Soul, um, it's just, it's incredible to me how the narrative changed. And now a lot of those same people that just wanted nothing but serious arcs, and to find out more about the story, wanted to go back to those trollish episodes, and... The one shots and and whatnot, man. And as much as I miss those as well, uh, Gintama had to end eventually. You know, like Gintama, it had to get to its actual plot and to its story and to and to really go into the little small details that Sirachi kept sprinkling in throughout all of those chapters, leading into this long saga since Shogun assassination. Um, and uh, that's why that's why I love the anime. That's why it was so awesome whenever the anime got to the Porori arc, because it allowed me to see both. You know, well, I was reading the manga in Silver Soul, but in the anime, I was watching the Porori arc, and it's classic Gintama greatness. But yeah, man, uh, I really love that line by Sakamoto, bro, because even though they have all said the, they have all said the line before, to take back every, everything that we had before, it didn't really strike me until now that Sirachi might have done that, you know, intentionally. 
to not to not only like for for these characters to be relaying a message to us as fans like Sirachi saying I understand where y'all are coming from but you know what man I, got, I gotta wrap this up dog it's time to wrap it up it's time for the story of these characters to come to an end but whenever it does come to an end I will bring you guys back to those days to the trollish days man and I love it yo I can't wait to see how he's going to end the series. I really, I think the final chapter of this series, uh, the final chapter of Gintama and the final chapter of One Piece are the two final chapters that I look forward to, that, I, that I've been looking forward to the most um, out of out of anything. Uh, for Gintama, for, for, for One Piece, of course, because I've been following for so long. And I just, I can't wait to see what Oda's final panel is. But for Gintama... Since, since Gintama is such a different series compared to uh, other series that I've watched, especially in this magazine, I really can't wait to see how Suraj is going to handle that final chapter. I mean, I know I've said multiple times before that he could do, you know, because it's Sirachi, he could do a parody of a whole bunch of different stuff in one and still make it emotional somehow. He could do a parody of the final chapter of Dragon Ball, chapter 520. Have that going down, man, but... I just, I don't know how Sirachi wants to do it, but regardless of what he wants to do with it, I'm going to like swim more coach. We just got the Shinsengumi coming back together. Now we have three more chapters to see what happens um, here with the with the rest of, of the characters. I'm going to assume that one of these chapters has to have Kagura coming back together with Kamui and Yuibozu in some way, shape, or form. So I think Sirachi might give an entire chapter just based on that. Um... And then Takotsuki has to get back together with his squad too. Same with Zura. Um, so we'll see. Because there, there's quite a couple characters that, that are not here at the present moment. But I think Sora's is going to bring them all together to do this whole thing. And, and probably he he's probably saving the Yodozuya reunion for the final chapter. I would not doubt it at all. But we'll see, man. We'll, we'll see how he resolves it. We'll see how he resolves Like I said before last week... Um, at this point, I just want the series to end and friggin' Toki to be happy, bro. I, um, that, like, by the end of the series, by the final chapter, I want there to be trolling again and again Toki to be happy, bro. Because of everything that this man has gone through and it continues to go through, dog, I need him to have a happy ending, bro. But I'll see y'all next time. Have an awesome day. Go, Tama, greatness. And I'll see y'all next time for chapter 696. <laughs>